What it do, everybody? Time to do 2017-18 Donruss basketball. Half caser. That's a 10-box break. PYT style in the store. Store getting some love. Let's do this thing. By the way, got a special giveaway going on right now. For every PYT I fill, I give away a spot in a flawless hit random of your choice. All right? I just gave away a spot to my boy Martin. If you don't believe me, he will come in the chat and be like, it's true. Uncle Jesse hooked me up. I love that guy. Guess what? Because we filled this PYT, I will also be giving away a spot to the people in this break. So you see all those names up right there? There are their teams and who they belong to. You see one of those, uh, you see those names that are on there? One of those guys or gals is going to win a spot. In a hit random of a flawless break of their choice. That's a good deal. And as always, good luck everybody. Let's get this thing rocking. Now there's a, a stupid amount of cards in this thing. There's so many packs. Hey, Kyle. Wait, hold on. Oh, Kyle, for a second I thought you said you wanted the triple threads boxes there. Well, I do have uh, three boxes left of that. I have five boxes of Bowman High Tech. That I can get rid of personal style. I have two boxes of Immaculate Soccer. Yo, Josh, instead of buying an Xbox 360, buy a PS4 so you can play with your boy. Joshua, I just I'm reading your message right now. I'm your wife's favorite breaker. Whoa. Don't worry, Joshua. She's all yours. I, I am not a homebreaker. Unless both of you guys get into breaks, then, you know, I'm going to side with the wife. Happy wife, happy life. But you know that. But listen, all jokes aside, man, I'm, I'm glad you guys are, are having fun with the breaks. And, and I appreciate you guys, you know, coming through, having some fun with me, talking some shit, getting into some breaks. I appreciate you guys, man. I hope you all have a very happy Thanksgiving. And uh, try not to eat too much. So when I come through, you know, you can save me a plate, you know? The plate, the PS sucks? All right, Josh. You about to get banned, dog. You know, there's, there's few things we don't talk about in the room. You know, politics and religion being the main ones. The other one is you, you do not talk ill of Sony and their PlayStation. You take that back right now, Josh. You take that back. Alright, what time did I start this thing? About a minute ago? 12.05. Alright, let's call it 12.05 when I started this thing. Now keep in mind, when I do these breaks, it takes like an hour. I got it down to about an hour. But I'm going to speed this thing up. Let's see how fast I can do this thing. A political roundtable? Yeah. Well, I mean, you can if you want to. I just, I don't talk about it. I don't. But if you, if that's, if you, listen, if you guys want to talk politics in the room, fucking go for it. I'm going to fuck. Josh, it's not going to take that long. Justice Winslow to 99 for the heat. Dude, I'm only sleeving and top loading autographs and, uh, and patches. Everything else, I'm flying through it, man. Got a John Wall patch there for the Wizards. I'm telling you, dude, I'm going to fly through this thing. You're going to be like, damn, yo. How did you do that break that fast? Because I got you. There's the Ben Simmons there. 
What is this? A Dwayne Wade to 299 for the Bulls. Gorju Ding with an auto for the Timberwolves. Listen, I, I like that you're a ball buster. Well, no, listen, it's not going to take me 10 minutes. I got to be realistic, too. Uh, I but however I'll double that. I think I could be done with this in about twenty minutes. It's it's gonna take me longer to open up the packs than it is gonna take for me to actually go through them. Paul Millsap to ten for the Nuggets. That's pretty sweet. There you go, rah rah. That goes to you, brah. Did you really, rah rah? Did you really? That's the last thing I'm talking about when I go to a bar. And when I go to a bar, it's it's usually like, "Hey, girl, what's your name? You want to come? You want to come back to my mama house? You gotta be quiet though. You gotta be quiet though. Make sure you use the bathroom before we leave too. You know. What do you call he called? Stein to two ninety nine for the Kings, and he he got dunked on nasty by Lonzo Ball just now, like uh, about half an hour ago. It was a pretty nasty alley oop. You'll see it all over ESPN. It's probably Lonzo Ball's sickest play so far. All the women were 21 year olds. Well, listen, you, this is what you should have done. Uh, this is what you should have done. This is what you should have done, Ra Ra. You should have been like, yo, I'm a YouTuber. What's up? And then they're going to be like, you're a liar. You're a liar. And then they're going to be like, oh, yeah, you're, I'm a liar. And then all you had to do was check me out on YouTube and then be like, look, look at that. That's my partner right there. That's Uncle Jesse. That's my boy, Cardboard Moses. And then I'd be like, ooh, he's kind of cute in like a weird way. And then you're going to be like, yeah, whatever. But that's my partner. Watch. He's going to shout me out. And then, you know, type in the chat, yo, what's up, Uncle Jesse? And then I would have been like, rah, rah, what up, dog? Blah, 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 blah. And then the girls would have been like, oh, shit. This guy's a fucking pimp. I need to put my uh I need to put my lady parts near his face ASAP. And boom, there you go, Rara. Just like that. Uncle Jesse would have hooked you up with some strange. And you you wouldn't you 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 didn't even have to put in no work, dog. By the way, Rara. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rara. Happy birthday to you. There you go. I don't think I've ever sang happy birthday to another man. First time for everything, I guess. I feel like I sounded pretty good. I, maybe that's the acoustics in the room. I don't know. I'm about to go try out for like American Idol or something. You know what? I'm glad nobody sang me happy birthday for my birthday. Mainly because I had to work. <laughs> Well, they'll probably sing me happy birthday on Saturday when I go out with my friends. I hope they don't. It's fucking embarrassing. Anytime, like, you know what I mean? Like, when every time it's a birthday or something, and it's my birthday, and they sing happy birthday to me, I, I, I don't know how to take that. Like, I just sit there, and I wait for it to be done, and I put my head down. It's, it's just really embarrassing for me. Like, I, I don't like being sung to. Unless, unless you're like... Jennifer Lopez, then you can sing however you want with you know just don't open your mouth. My boy Rara hits a big four oh By the way, what are you doing for Thanksgiving, Rara? You know what sucks about our birthdays? You know, my birthday was on Monday. Your birthday is what? Today? Well, officially it's Thursday. 
So, like, your birthday and mine are really close to Thanksgiving. So, like, my family has this habit of combining my birthday and Thanksgiving, which is a pain in the ass. Yo, y'all do me a favor, check out Nick's uh, link right there, give him some pointers, how he can do better, or if it's good already, go ahead and bid that up for my boy. Yours is always combined, dude, I hate that shit, I hate that, mine's is always combined, I hate it. Lurk Josh being a fucking troll, <laughs> I missed you man, I missed you, I missed you. go through this what is this Josh McRoberts with a patch for the magic where where blazers got a RPA coming up you know I would give you some pointers uh, Nicholas, but, uh, you know, your boy's putting in work right now. Tyler Ullis to, uh, 299 for the Suns. Man, look at that haircut. Glenn Rice. I actually met him, dude. Glenn Rice is probably the coolest athlete I've met. And I've met a couple athletes. I've met a few. Most, most Heat players, honestly. Numbered to 75, Zach Collins of the Blazers. You know, no one at work ever acknowledges my birthday either, rah rah. Mostly because I don't announce it. You know, I'm not one of those people that like, oh my, yo, it's my birthday in a week, yo. Okay, that's cool. I think I give a fuck. To 189, Terrence Ross of the Magic. At least like in school, like dude, I, that was my most annoying thing. That, that that was probably the most annoying thing I had to deal with in high school was having to see, you know. Yo, Jesse, it's my birthday in a week. What you gonna get me? This dick. Ah, oh, you're so funny. Seriously, what are you gonna get me? No, I'm for real. I ain't gonna get you nothing. <laughs> but it's my birthday. So? Like, because it's your birthday. That don't mean nothing. Damn, Ra Ra, it really is your birthday. Nikola Jokic. Two out of ten for the Nuggets. That's nice. I'm the dude that... Yeah, actually, I, I did. I did break on my birthday, Lurk. I did break on my birthday, you know, and if I have a girlfriend, I usually break up with them, like, around this time of year to avoid having to pay for Christmas gifts, but, you know, but I always break up with them after my birthday, you know what I'm saying? Hashtag pro tip. It's your mom's birthday, Hales, yeah? Hales, yeah! Shoutouts to Hales, yeah's mom. Happy birthday, Hales, yeah, creator. Well, that's, well, that's before I started doing breaks. Now that I do breaks and like, like the, the girl that I'm kind of talking to, she knows what I do, but she doesn't really like take me serious. So she's always like, oh, when are you going to take me out? When are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well, she's trying to get after my paper stacks. I can't have that. So I, you know, I pretty much just tell her no. Ten minutes down, damn, you're right. Alright, how about we push that from 20 minutes to 30? Actually, I could do it in 20 minutes if I just shut the fuck up and break. Take it to the National? Dude, if I take it to the National, I might as well take her to Pound Town, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she has actually, rah rah. So, so she can't call me on my bluff or whatever. And one time she was like, yeah, you look, you look so cute online. 
And I'm like, shut the fuck up. You know, because that's how I flirt. You know, I usually flirt with girls by... I either make fun of them or I make fun of them. And they love that. Uh, I don't know why. Work, what you talking about? Right here, dog? So, yeah, so she saw me one time and she's like, oh, you weren't kidding. I'm like, yeah, why would I lie? Like, I, I, I'm not a liar. Why would I lie? Like... I'm big time, girl. I'm going to be on HBO one of these days breaking, too. So ever since then, she's been, like, after my paper stacks. Like, when you get in that YouTube money, boy, when are you going to take me out? I'm like, shit, when are you going to sit on my face? And then she sat on my face, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Dude, if I take her to the National... That would be a, a romantic trip to Cleveland. <laughs> Yo, uh, that's probably the least romantic place on God's green earth. You know, you could ask Jesus or whatever deed. You could ask, you know, Muhammad or whatever. Like, Yo, Muhammad, would you ever go to Cleveland? They'd probably be like, Cleveland? <laughs> no, thank you. De'Aaron Fox at 299 for the Kings. No, we don't lurk, Josh. Not yet, anyway. Actually, I can't. I can't get YouTube money, cause I curse way too fucking much. See, like I just cursed. Like it's 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 just natural to me, man. It's how I. This how I talk. I'm not yelling. That's how I talk. Well, actually, Lurk Josh, it's funny you mentioned that because we, we're working on some things. <sighs> working on some things, baby. This this channel's going to blow up real soon. Like, I'm, I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This shit's going to blow up. To 299 Jamal Crawford of the uh, Timberwolves. So, listen, all you guys that are hanging out with me right now before I'm big time, y'all the OGs. And then I have people like Rara who have been around... Since the Cardboard Jesus days, those are the triple OGs. Luke Kennard to 75 for the Pistons. RPA right there. Oh, I need a top loader for this. Oh, I should have top loaded that other one too. The Zach Collins. Yo, Kyle, what is the nicest card in your collection, dude? Well, yeah, I mean, my if you're talking about my thumbs, ooh, look how weird that is. I can, I have, I have a, a double-sided joint on there. So, oh, listen, I'm gonna, I'm, I was just gonna say, I'm gonna remember you guys when I'm big time. You know, with everybody else, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like a complete snob, but with y'all, it's gonna be like straight up, like love, like homie love. Like, damn, why is he so cool with them? I'm kind of jealous. Chris Dunn of the Bulls to 189. You know, I'm gonna be like that hot chick in class that you were always scared to talk to, but like if you knew me since elementary, like it's all love. But everybody else, once I got to high school, and they're like, oh man, she, that's a hot ass chick. I'm going to be like, new phone, who this? Marcus Smart with a patch for the Celtics. XNXX, that's like probably my favorite site. Because it just it cuts straight to the point. There's no ads, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Y'all could be my bottom bitches. And everyone else is just going to be my bitch. But, you know, y'all special though. I, I will always come back home to you guys. You know what I mean? Alright, so nothing there. Put this to the side. I'm, dude, I can't wait till the channel takes off. And it will take off, man. We're doing some big things with eBay. Doing some big things with eBay. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, man. Got some big things up. Next year is going to be hella exciting. And technically, this is my, like, I've, I've officially been doing this thing for a year now. So, 
this was officially my rookie year. Now, I got to make that sophomore jump. And your boy, your boy going to make that leap. You got a Lou Gehrig to three? Yo, Kyle, I need you to send me a picture of that thing. I need to see that, dude. That sounds amazing. Uh, Lurk Josh, if you spoke English, I could probably understand what you were trying to say to me. If you're asking me what's the nicest card I've hit out of this, uh, out of Donruss, well, dude, I've hit all of them. I've hit Lonzo, Markel, Tatum, De'Aaron, Dennis Smith. What, Ziggy? You pulled a one on one Babe Ruth? I know you held that. Dude, I know you held on to that thing for the PC, bro. There are some things you do not sell. I would not sell a one on one Babe Ruth. Well, unless the money's right. What next day autos have you hit? I cannot recall at the moment right now. Nah, Ziggy ain't no troll. Ziggy ain't no troll. Ziggy's a real one, Devin. Ziggy is a real one. But if you're telling me you pulled a one on one, Ziggy, I need I need proof on that. I need proof on. Listen, I I've, I've seen some pretty sick shit. Uh, like my boy Jason, the sickest card he ever pulled was a Hon uh, Onus Wagner, uh, bat barrel. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. A Babe, a Babe Ruth 101 is like, it's like owning, you know, a fucking portrait of Mona Lisa or something. Like an original. It would only go up in value, right? Like things of that nature. I would call them antiquity. Man. I need I need pictures on this thing, Ziggy. The nicest card I ever pulled would either have to be that that Kobe I pulled for for um for Kyle or that one on one Messi I hit a, a, a little while back. That card is just filthy. The EK Anik Bogu to two ninety nine for the Pacers. Still waiting to get a rated rookie auto. That would be amazing. Ted DiBiase, everybody's got a price. You already know. It's true. It's true. Ersan Ilyasova to 49 for the Hawks. Dude, Kyle, so what is the nicest card you have? Alan Crabb of the Nets with an auto. Well, Ziggy, you could either, well, if you have like a file sharing website, you could just post a link in the chat, and the chat will automatically show the picture. You know, if, once I start collecting, and I will at one point, Cinderia Storm or the Clippers, uh, there are certain cards I, I just would not sell. Because, um, you know, they, it would be like sentimental value kind of deal. You know what I mean? Uh, my favorite basketball player, since we're, since we're doing a basketball break, my favorite basketball player of all time is Allen Iverson. So... If I was to ever hit like a, a 101 Allen Iverson or anything like that, I would not get rid of that shit. I would not get rid of that at all. Unless you do like, like the Ted DiBiase and you hit me with a with an offer I can't refuse. But that's gonna it would be you would pay way too much for the card because I, I would ask for too much. Uh, my second favorite player is Dwayne Wade, and I know you're probably thinking, well, why is why is Dwayne Wade your second favorite player? Because I grew up watching Allen Iverson. You know, I remember... Dude, I, I saw the game where he crossed up Michael Jordan. 
And at the time, Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan. And here comes this rookie who should, you know, who could have been in jail. I didn't learn about that until later on in life, you know. Uh, but all I could see is, you know, this, this rookie, you know, this young rookie coming out of Georgetown. And he crosses up Michael Jordan so nasty. And to make matters even better, he drains the jumper after crossing him up. Like, are you kidding me? That's what that that's how I became a fan of his. Like, oh dude, this guy's my favorite. And then from there he just went on to have a disgusting career. So that's why he's my favorite. And Dwayne Wade number two, it's pretty obvious. Place for the heat, dog. Come on now. Jersey King right there for the Knicks, Carmelo Anthony. Now, for those of you guys waiting for the eBay break, guys, I got you. As soon as I'm done with this break, I will hook you guys up. Actually, I lied. I'm, I'm, you know, when I'm talking about my sickest hits, I'm talking about just for me what I like. Uh, but, dude, I've hit, I've hit fucking one-on-one Sandy Koufax. You know, I've, I've hit some pretty sick sick cards. Is Carmelo Anthony overrated? I don't think he's over. Thank you for that, Josh. I don't think he's overrated. I don't know what to think about Carmelo, honestly. We talk about practice? Not the game. Not the game. Not the game. We talking about practice. Practice? Not the game, not the game, not the game that I, you know, that I die for every day. Not, 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 not the game. Practice? I'm actually, I'm happy with Carmelo. I'm actually, I said, I should, I should, I meant to say, I'm happy for Carmelo. Uh, the only other time I can remember, you know, Carmelo having like a teammate was when he played with Allen Iverson, uh, with the Nuggets. When they got all the way to the conference finals, I want to say this was 2011 or something like that, or 2009, something like that. That's the only other time I can remember Allen Iverson, like having a legit superstar teammate and Carmelo or, or sh I should say Carmelo and now that he's playing with the Thunder I think that's awesome dude can I imagine Andre Drummond crossing over CBJ I cannot dude I've actually seen Cardboard Jesus play defense the guy is solid the guy is solid Which reminds me, I gotta put up a picture of that white whale. I think I'll do that tomorrow or something. Dude, Kyle, I don't know what kind of gift you have, but it's gotta be a gift. You just happen to pick the right boxes at the right time every time. Dude, I'm telling you, he's a lockdown defender, man. He is a lockdown defender. You know, I played him one on one once and I could not get by him. DeAndre Bambry to 299 for the Hogs. Shaq posting up CBJ, then Shaq is gonna get Shaq is gonna get blocked. Shaq would get mad handled by the CBJ. His presence alone when he steps onto the court, everybody already pissing their pants. You know, and God forbid they look the man in his eyes. What? Have you ever seen Jason directly in the eyes? I hope not, because then he got you under the spell. Dirk Nowitzki with a patch for the Mavericks. Yeah, actually, I did see that lurk. That was actually kind of cool, man. I like I like to see, you know, a little intense. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't consider that a rivalry, but I do like the, to see the competitors, the competitive juices flowing. Because mind you, I mean, growing up, dude, I used to watch like NBA players would like actually get into scraps, man. Jason Terry for the Bucks with an auto. 
You know, I, dude, I grew up watching the Knicks and the Heat fight every fucking game. And I'm talking like legit fisticuffs. Not none of that pussy shit that's going on. Like, oh, he pushed me. I'm going to push you back. Hmm, I'm going to get in your face. Hmm, but we're really not going to do nothing. Hold me back. Hold me back. I'm not going to do anything. But I'm going to pretend like I'm going to do something because he's holding me back now. Yeah, none of that. It wasn't no talking back in the day. It was knuckle up, bitch. So it, it was nice to see Kevin Durant and uh, Russell Westbrook get, get a little bit into it. It would have been even better... If Kevin Durant like choke slammed Russell Russell Westbrook, could you imagine that? His tall ass, Justin Jackson to one eighty nine for the Kings. Could you imagine Kevin Durant hitting Russell Westbrook with a choke slam? <laughs> That'd be awesome. There's a video of CBJ getting pissed. Is that the Brenda video? Is that Dirty Brenda? I think that might be Brenda. I can't click on it because, you know, I got my hands busy. Kyle Kuzma to 299 for the Lakers. Nothing there. Oh, well, the fact that you said maybe pretty much cements it that it is. And I'm halfway through this thing. And I'm going fast. Jeremy Lin to 99 for the Nets. Maybe I should turn the entertainment value down. Maybe I should, you know, stop stop trying to be funny and just focus on the breaks. I mean, I could, but what fun is that? All right, we're halfway through. Whew. I will knock the dancers out of Brenda. See, I'm t listen. I know you guys look at Jason and you're all like, oh, he's, you know, he's a sweet dude. And he is a sweet dude. He is one of the coolest guys I've, I've had the pleasure to meet in my life. But that is one man you do not want to upset. I got you, Ziggy. I got you. Got a Tatum coming. Come on. Ah, I can't wait to get some turkey in my belly. I hope I hope the liquor store is open tomorrow. I need to go pick up that bottle of hen dog, you know what I'm saying? I need that henny. You smoked two blunts already? Oh, well, that's because you're smoking them little baby blunts, dog. You be smoking them blunts with like 0.4 grams in that shit. Them little baby, little baby blunts. No, my boy, uh, well, hells yeah, my boy wants a Jason Tatum from the Celtics. My boy Ziggy. When am I coming to AT? Oh, actually, Lurk, you know what's funny? I just got back from there, dude. I just got back from Atlanta. Oh, that's a good card. <coughs> Holy shit, that's a good card. If you got the Kings, you're going to be pretty happy. I'm just going to say that right now. T 
Tell him how to do it, Devin. Tell him. You know, he don't know. He don't know. Nothing there. Check this out. The Aaron Fox RPA. That's sick. <coughs> That's a good card. Congrats, Martin. You're leaving me already, Nicholas? Oh. You're just going to use me and abuse me and then just leave? You're going to have your way with me and then you're just going to go? Story of my life. But yeah, as I was saying, Josh, actually, I just came back from Georgia. I was there for the weekend. And I was in Atlanta on Saturday, so... We could have chilled, bro. We could have chilled, but, you know, you've, you've been dealing with life issues, and I completely understand. It's a bonus for the Pacers to 299 Again, I hope everything works out for you, my man. When am I making my way out to West California? Actually, Martin, it's funny you ask. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where they stay. In California, uh, Terrence Ferguson for the Thunder with a patch. I got some homies that live out there in California. And I can go stay at their place whenever I want. Um, it's just a matter of actually getting out there. I think they stay by El Segundo. Does that, does that like ring a bell? Um, I don't know if I, I don't know where that is in California. But that's, they live by El Segundo. And I have no idea where that is. Did I have any good eats in Georgia? Considering we were mostly barbecuing and like getting drunk at the house. And we went to Atlanta to, you know, just to, just to see what's out there and stuff. Uh, the only like food besides barbecue that I had, I had Zaxby's. Oh my God. Zaxby's is so good. So good. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to say that name, but it's for the Celtics, the 299. I will attempt. Uh, Guershon Yabuseli. There you go. Oh, really, Marty Moore? Wow. That is a small-ass world, bro. You know what's funny? My boys stayed by El Segundo, and uh, our partners, or one of the other uh, breaking operations that we have under the Ripping Wax umbrella, is based out uh, by Redondo Beach. Like, he can walk to Redondo Beach. Dude, Zaxby's is the shit, Lurk Josh. I'm sorry. Zaxby's is fucking amazing. Like, their sauce? The Zaxby sauce? What? Kyle Kuzma to 199 for the Lakers. Mind you, like, I'm from Miami, dog. Like, we there is no Zaxby's around here. Like, the nearest Zaxby's, I, I would have to go to, like, central, you know, northern Florida to get me some Zaxby's. Zaxby's is the shit. It is delish. But, yeah, I, I mean, I, I couldn't go to, like, Patty LaBelle's Diner or something. Zaxby's is a place that sells strictly chicken, uh, Jason. And it is, uh, um, how do I say, uh, fire? They're like McDonald's over there. Nice. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, dude. I, I've never been. That was, I've been to Zaxby's three times in my life. Their chicken is really good. But yeah, I mean, I, I didn't spend too much time in Georgia, so I, I wasn't, it's not like I could go out and explore and see what's out there and stuff, you know, it was it was more of a, uh, of a family affair, so, you know, I, I, I would feel bad, you know, going out and hanging out with, you know, friends that I have out there and shit like that, when the whole purpose of me going up there was to hang out with the family, you know, for my birthday and stuff. So I, I, I didn't really go that much. 
Uh, I didn't go out that much, I should say. Should have got some bowels. What what the hell is that? That sounds like that sounds like VD, like some kind of VD or something. What the hell is bowels? Barbecue and beer is the best combo. Well, that's what I did. That's what I was doing, J Lord Josh. So I, I didn't feel the need to leave the house. I was straight knocking back beer skis. Why did I say it like that? It's, it's brewskis. I was knocking back brewskis. And barbecue chicken dog. Uh, my family stays in uh, in Austell. Austell, Georgia, Lurk. About 45 minutes away from Atlanta. You know, depending on the traffic. Ain't shit out there in Austell. There's nothing out there, bro. There's a Zagsby's. <laughs> That's about it. Right, by the Six Flags. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Six Flags is really close. But they're closed. They were closed when I when I was there. And uh, they tell me they, they closed for the season, I guess, because it's too cold or something. Which I don't have those problems living in Miami, you know what I mean? eBay is having an issue right now, Nicholas. Well, damn. So how about how about you just uh? Oh shit! It's one of the big boys in the house, my man, the Kanko Man in the house. What's up, Kanko Man? How you doing, Broski? I'm doing some Donruss basketball right now. I filled it up. Uh, so I'm breaking this thing down. Uh, Kanko, man, I got a pretty good promo going on right now, dude. Every PYT that I fill, I give away a spot in a flawless hit random of your choice. So I have flawless college basketball and flawless college football hit randoms in the store right now. I got Dynasty Baseball in the store. I got uh, Chronicles Baseball Personals available. Playoff Football Personals available. I got Bowman High Tech Baseball Personals available. Yeah, we're going to get some in uh, Ascension going on. Actually, it's funny you, you mentioned that, Corey. Uh, I'm going to be doing a break for eBay of Ascension once I'm done with this break. Of Don Russ. So if you uh, if you haven't, uh, well, I'm sure you've seen it already. It's actually very nice stuff in Ascension. Uh, we'll get a little sneak peek into that. I'm gonna do a full case break once I'm done with this. The Dejounte Murray there, the Spurs to 299. Oh, da damn! For real? 18 out of 40. Allen Iverson of the Nuggets. Yo, it is your birthday, Ra Ra. My man. Dude, that's fucking awesome. I'm a little jealous. Well, I oh, I have illusion, and then at and then at one in the morning, uh, I'm gonna do ascension. But I still got twenty. Well, from what I can tell, I have twenty five teams left in ascension basketball in the store. Uh, and like I said, man, every PYT I fill. I give away a spot in a hit random of Flawless. And you get to choose which one you want to get into. Michael Kidd Grigris to 49 for the Hornets. You know, th that's the stuff with this Donruss, man. It's, it's sneaky, bro. Like, there's really, really, really nice stuff in here. But there's so much crap. <laughs> Zach Randolph. To 199 for the Kings. Listen, I wouldn't. I don't blame you at all, Ra Ra. I have half a mind to like not even ship it out to you, but uh, I don't want that negative karma in my life. So uh, I will be sending that out to you. What else we got here?
bloop, bloop, bloop. So, you know, pick up those cheap teams, guys. I still see some cheap teams left in Ascension. Those cheap teams are just going to give you more spots in the giveaway. So you can get into some flawless. Ugh. Got some stuff in the way. Put all the stuff away here on this side. Well, Corey, first of all, you is crazy, dog. Secondly, I don't even know how many teams are left, bruh. So I can't even, like, answer that question. Mysterious object confirmed to breathe from another solar system. What? I want to see how many spots I got left, uh, Corey. And uh, I'll do some quick math. Let's see what's up with that. You guys, oh, okay, so I'm still at 25. Yeah, I, but I also like the multitask, Corey. I also like the multitask. Alright, let me see here. If we do straight filler, it would be $43 a spot. For the Ascension. It'd be a 25 spot filler. 43 bucks gets you a random team from the 25 left and uh, a really good shot at a spot in a flawless break of your choice. You gotta peel potatoes off oh, for the mashed potato tomorrow, huh, Nicholas? I wish I wish we had mashed. You know what? I might just buy like some of that quick, like five minute mashed potato or whatever guys anyone down to bust ascension my man Corey is down to go balls deep and I do mean balls deep on that You know, for those of you guys in the room, I know you guys think, uh, well, it's not, it's not a thinking thing. It's a reality. You know, Kyle Smith is a baller. My boy be, you know, he be, he be spending money. Corey is another one of those ballers. So it's like he said right now, if you guys, uh, he could scoop up the expensive teams. If y'all help Phil picking up the smaller teams. You know, I still see a lot of cheap teams there. I see the Clippers, Grizzlies, $14 teams. You guys pick up those cheap teams. It's just going to give you more spots in the giveaway, guys. You're going to stuff the turkey with butter. Why? Is that is that good? I feel like that's a quick way to uh, clog your arteries. Guys, people in the chat, anyone down to fill up that ascension in the store? Get in the chat, guys. Get in this chat. I'm almost done with this break. So I can line that filler. So the Allen Iverson auto. Man, that's pretty that's pretty disgusting. A patch for Vince Carter. All that cholesterol. Yes, sir. I don't know if I... But what does that do to it? Does that like does it make it more tender? Does it like make it taste better? Well, butter makes a lot of things taste better. So there's a now. But for real though, what what what? Like, are you trolling me right now? I feel like you're trolling me. I feel like you're trolling me. LeBron James Auto, yeah, psych. That that does not happen, uh, unless it's upper deck. To two ninety nine though, right there for the Cavs. Guys, go into the store. Pick up spots in Ascension Basketball. It's a full case break, so we can get that thing gone tonight. 
And so I can give away another spot in a hit random of flawless. Zach Randolph of the Kings, the 299 right there. Well, my question, Nicholas, is what does it do? Like, does it make it taste better? Like, why why would you stuff it with butter when you can stuff it with, like, something tasty? Like bacon. Or with, like, a mini turkey. Or you could stuff it with bacon. You know what I'm saying? Like, like why butter? Like, I, I just want to learn because maybe there's something you know that I don't. I'm just trying to learn. Marquise Chris to 189 for the Suns. I wonder if we're going to deep fry that turkey tomorrow. I hope so, because it tastes so much better deep fried. Otherwise, turkey be like hella dry. Malcolm Brogdon to 189 for the Bucks. Frank Kaminsky with the auto for the Hornets. Well, so much for this taking me half an hour. Oh, yeah, the Turk Duncan. I've heard about that. I've actually tasted it before. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. All right, two boxes left. Guys, you guys are buying spots into Ascension, right? The answer is yes. Yes, Uncle Jesse. We're going to have that full for you once you're done with that Donruss basketball. Ascension is going to be full for you. Almost done, guys. Then we're going to get those eBay breaks going. What happened to the chat? Mighty quiet right now. There you go, Nicholas. Help me out, man. Get that chat moving along there. Uh, Morgan, what time is flawless? Uh, I'm not sh I, I don't think... What do you mean, Morgan? Are you here for an eBay break or something? Finish this thing off here. Reggie Jackson to 299 there for the Pistons. Morgan, uh, I'm not sure what you're asking for, um, but we don't have any flawless breaks scheduled right now, uh, at least not for eBay. DeMar DeRozan to 299 for the Raptors. We do have flawless college breaks on our website, ripcitycars.com, uh, but there is no schedule for that. Um, you know, as far as our store breaks, we break those as soon as we're full, uh, as far as, you know, getting all spots sold. Yeah, Josh, so much for it taking 30 minutes, right? Or 1020? What a joke. What was I thinking? Tyler Ulis to 99 for the Suns. 
It is it, it is tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Nicholas Kyle Lowry with a patch for the Raptors. But uh, we're almost done. If that makes you uh, feel any better, and then after this, we're gonna see that new hotness, baby. What is it? Illusions football that I got coming up. NBA hoops versus Donruss. Oof. Neither. Joel Embiid of the Sixers. I mean, look, there's nice stuff in both products. Um, I feel like as far as the hoops, there are better parallels. But I feel like there are better signatures in Donruss. Marcus Canby with an auto for the Blazers. We go. Josh trying to go three for three. You suck, Josh. You suck. That's really what it boils down to. Yeah, the AI was super nice. You know, the rated rookie autos are very sick. It's, it's tougher to hit in Donruss, but the payoff is, is worth it. Alright, that's it for that box. The hell was that? Last box mojo. Last box mojo. Almost done with this, guys. After this, I'm going to run the giveaway for that last spot, or for a spot, I should say, in the uh, Flawless Hit Random. Well, Nicholas, if you go to the website, you can see him. Um, as far as in Ascension, I got the Clippers and Grizzlies. Both teams are worth uh, $14 each. I have the Nets that are worth $14 in Ascension too. The Thunder are $19 in Ascension. So there's, there's some cheap spots to pick up in Ascension. That's that song with, uh, with Young Thug in it, Lurk Josh. Next thing you're going to tell me is, oh, I know the girl who sings the song, bro. It's a pretty catchy song. I don't understand what it's about, though. It makes you want to kill <laughs> Uh, that's that's how I feel anytime I hear a Macklemore song. I just I want to commit seppuku. Or Childish Gambino. If I listen to Childish Gambino, I'm probably gonna jump off of uh, a fifteen. Uh, Story building. Truth be told, if it's like a song that gets played a lot on the radio, automatically I don't like it because everybody likes it. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Like if everybody's into it, I won't be into it because everybody's into it. I'm weird. But that's why you love me. All right, last box mojo. Let's finish this off. Ante Zizic for the Cavs to, uh, what was that, to the 199? You love Gambino. I, I can't. I cannot. It's, it's, you know what it is? It's because they play his songs over and over and and I just, I cannot, I can't. Frank Tilakina of the Knicks with a patch. 
Well, thank you for the friendly reminder, Jason. I appreciate that, but we're almost done. Andre Godala to 49 for the Warriors. What is this? For the Cavaliers, Jim Jones with the auto. Very nice. Uh, Kyle Smith, the biggest monster right now, would have to be Allen Iverson. By the way, Kyle Smith, I had my boy Corey Clement up in here. I'm not sure if he's still in here. Kanko, man, you still in here, dog? My boy was down to pick up like 10, 15 spots in a filler of Ascension basketball. He, uh, he wants to pick up some of the bigger teams. He just wants to know if anybody else in the room is down to get down with that. I got his phone number, so I can always hit him up. I think he's still lurking in the chat, though. Almost done with this. Then I'm going to do the random. Someone's going to get a spot in a flawless break of their choice once I'm done with this. You dumped your load? What does that mean? What is this? Rajon Rondo to 99 for the Pelicans. Almost done. Chris Middleton to 299 for the Bucks. Word, Kyle. I, just, I got to put it out there for my ballers. You know, I got to put it out there for my ballers. All right, guys. So that's it for the break. Uh, before I finish, though, I'm going to give away a spot and a flawless hit random here. I'm going to go nine times. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to grab everybody in this break. And I'm going to put them in a randomizer and see who's going to get that uh, that spot. Oh, shit, Kyle. Well, listen, we're not breaking anything tomorrow because it's Thanksgiving. But we will be back on Friday, Kyle. Give me the cheeks? Whoa, Nicholas, that's uh, it's a little intense. That's a little intense. I don't know. I don't know if Kyle wants to give up the cheeks that easy. At least take the guy on a date first. You know what I mean? At least buy him dinner. You know, put some drinks in him. Uh, Devin, he's a drug dealer. That's what it is. All right. So I'm going to go nine times in the random. Top spot is going to get a spot in a flawless hit random of their choice. Good luck. Six. Seven. Eight. And the, Nicholas, I'm just reading that comment. That's funny. The money shot, top spot wins a flawless hit random spot. Good luck, y'all. And it's going to Paul McGarvey. There you go, Paul. Winning a spot in a hit random. Paul, all you got to do is hit me up. Let me know you won a spot, and I'll hook you up. All right, let's recap this stuff here. So I have Chones, Caps, Camby, Blazers. Kaminsky Hornets, Aaron, the Aaron Fox, that is, for the Kings, Terry Bucks, Crab Nets, Collins Blazers, Kennard Pistons, Jokic Nuggets, 
Paul Millsap Nuggets. Both of these are numbered to 10, the parallels. Uh, let me know which one you want to get into, Rockets boy. Uh, Giorgio Dieng of the Timberwolves. Oh, oh yeah, and my favorite player of all time, Allen Iverson of the Nuggets. Ridiculous. That was Don Russ, baby. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get it out.